fishing expedition. We just saw a shark when we were leaving our channel out of the marina. Uh, we went right over it. It was like six feet long. So we're in for an adventure. <laughs> It was too rough to snorkel the area we were going to. The winds were just coming from the wrong direction. So we just decided to stop here at this beach and anchor our little dinghy and go for a swim. Not too bad. didn't have great luck snorkeling around Bimini, but we saw tons of wildlife just around our marina. We saw sharks every day we were in Bimini. Um, these were in our marina. Uh, we saw them basically every day, and we also saw them right off of our beach. And one of the coolest things we saw was one morning we looked outside of the boat while we were having our morning coffee, and I noticed a little seahorse living on our dock. On our last day in Bimini, we went into town to enjoy a couple of beach bars, stock up on Nate's bread, and grab some dinner. We ended up at Edith's Pizza, and I gotta say the pizza was really, really good. I highly recommend it if you're in the area. Where are we going tomorrow? Tomorrow we are leaving Bimini and heading east. I think we're gonna stop at Mackey Shoals for the night and then head on to Bullock's Harbor. Uh, we have a friend coming in in a couple days, so we're, that'll be fun. Nice. It's beautiful out. It's a booming Saturday night in the metropolis of Bimini, Bahamas. Nate, how far are you making me walk? It's like two miles. What do you have in your hand? I got more Nate's bread. <laughs> <laughs> Three loaves. Three loaves. It's like 10 pounds. We so liked it. It was a success. We are just now leaving Bimini, which was a really great first stop in the Bahamas. Um, we got around, saw the town. We ate at a couple places. We had a Sherry's. Um, and we, one day we went to Stewart's conch, conch stand, and it was the best conch salad we've ever had. Um, unfortunately, on our way back from Stewart's, I lost my phone somewhere in the water, so I'm, I've lost a lot of good footage, unfortunately. Um, it's alright. Life goes on. Um, now we are on our way east to Great Harbor. Um, we have a friend coming in on Wednesday, so we just left Bimini and we have about a 70 nautical mile journey. So this will be, oh, 80. Over 80, 83 or something like that. So this will be our longest uh, trip yet. We'll see if we, we may or may not stop at Mackey Shoals over Nine Acre, but there's a good chance we'll just sail through the night and arrive to Great Harbor. Um, Which we've morning. never done, but True. there's weather coming in and we don't really have time to stop. So we might be going all night. We can do it. Goodbye, beautiful Bimini. Turn. We're in 21 feet of water 
and all good so far. That's all there is to report. Look at this. Unbelievable. They're huge. I'm crawling. Look at this. to be like basically no wind starting at like four o'clock it's 5 20 and it's like still blowing really strong so we don't know what's happening so if the wind stays like this we'll go all the way and just drop anchor someplace safe when we get there if the wind completely dies out we might stop somewhere and anchor and sleep so that's the update right now we're at, we're doing over seven knots consistently so we're like flying for us that's fast um, and that's my update. We watched the sun set and the moon rise as we took shifts on the rest of the sail to Great Harbor. It is about 2.40 a.m. and we are close to Great Harbor, but we don't want to enter in the dark. Um, plus we're going to the marina, so we are currently anchoring outside of Great Harbor. Um, Keegan's up front getting our anchor set in the pitch black. Uh, but we've got our lights and we should be good to go. We'll sleep here for a few hours and then head into the marina in the morning. So it is about 7 in the morning. We got a couple hours of sleep but I think we had our first successful anchorage. We got in at 3, 3 a.m. we got here, just anchored in the dark, um, so we just woke up to see where we are, and it's really beautiful. It is beautiful. We're very tired. We have not slept much. I didn't sleep much. I was on anchor alert, but I slept a little bit while Nate was still getting us here, so we both had a couple of hours of sleep. <laughs> so we're right outside of Great Harbor Key. And Bring our anchor up and head over to the marina and get checked in over there. And you can see kind of behind us this weather. You can kind of see it back there. That's what's coming our way. So that's why we had to get here so early because it's going to hit. It's going to hit here by like 9.30 or 10 a.m. So we are going to get over there and get tucked into a marina before that hits.
We are taking a little walk from the marina in Great Harbor. I'm gonna walk over to the east side of the island and check out the beach club. And see what's going on over there. So apparently here in Great Harbor, there's like a really, really famous golf course designed by like a really famous golf course designer and it's abandoned now and the clubhouse is like all overgrown we think this is part of the course yeah there's a there's a <laughs> hole right there but it's supposed to be like really back in the day it was like the place to be and the golf golf course is supposed to be like one of the best in the world now it's just abandoned it's so crazy weird We happened to walk past the old clubhouse for the golf course and we had to go in and check it out. It was basically in ruins, but you could tell that back in the day it was a beautiful structure. After speaking with one of the locals, we got the brief story that this island was being developed by the Rat Pack, including a bunch of famous people back in the day. Um, they developed the golf course and all this facilities trying to get a casino license, which was never granted. Thus, it all kind of just crumbled. Well, that was interesting. Crazy. <laughs> so sad. Next time on Sailing Summer Friday, a good friend of ours flies into Great Harbor to join the crew for a week. We check out one of the most stunning beaches in Great Harbor, then make our way through the beautiful Berry Island, stopping along the way at an incredible blue hole tucked away just steps from the sand. Hey everyone, thanks for watching and supporting our journey. Make sure to like us and subscribe. And follow us on social media on Instagram and Facebook, both are Sailing Summer Friday.